let's change the size and edit the shape that we see here in our Visio 2019 diagram. If we highlight the shape that we want to change, and in this case we only have the one, we can move it around. But you need to move it around first off when you can see this little cross up here. So that's how we can move it around. Otherwise, if you try to move it when you don't see the cross, then it, it won't actually do anything. Now we can spin the shape around, have it in a different position if we'd like. And if we left click on one of the corners, we can drag the shape to be larger or smaller. Some shapes we can also change the width and the height. The 3D ones are not one of them. We actually need to go into a 2D shape to do that. See, now we can go wide, we can go tall, but the 3D shapes you cannot change in that way. And you can see the difference between a 3D and 2D shape. Another thing we can do is highlight our shape right click and we can choose to format the shape and we get a new box that pops up on the left hand side and there's all different kinds of things we can do to format the shape such as we can do a no fill solid fill gradient fill pattern etc scroll down we can make additional changes i just showed you how to make the width different but you can also do it by simply clicking on it this way if we click on one of these other icons at the top, it's for effects. And we see there's reflection options, and size options, blur, things like that. Let's change this so it's going to be solid fill so it looks a little bit better when we make the changes. We can also choose glow if we want. There we go. We can even give a 2D icon or shape, more of a 3D feel. Let's make changes to our 3D icon as well. We can do the no fill, the gradient fill, etc. the same way. We can also go to size and properties and under that we have the option for text. Now this is really good for ADA compliance. You can put in a title and that way anyone who's using software that can read this title over the icon will know exactly what this shape or icon is, even if they can't see it. So I definitely recommend any one of these shapes that you add, you put in a title and a description if at all possible, so that can help folks with disabilities. If we choose shadow, we can choose some presets as well. And we can add a little additional 3D to our shape. So that's how you can edit and reposition and change the size of shapes.